Hi Cancer, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September already. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Decks I'm using, social media links, personal reading information, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out, it would be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, to those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I could not do it without you guys or your support. So thank you so much. It's truly, truly appreciated. And the channel is tiny right now, but with your support, um, maybe we can roll this into something big, bright, and beautiful and get the messages out here to the people that need to hear them. So the more they are liked and shared and commented on, the more the videos will get circulated. So it would really, really help me out if you watch this and you enjoy it, to please do like it and share it and subscribe and comment and hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please do not miss out on that. All right. Thank you. So Cancer, let's get right into it here. For the first half of September, this is a general reading. So I hope everybody's doing well and we're almost done summer. Can you believe that already? Wow. So this is a general reading, but I always say if somehow you can fit it into a uh, relationship scenario, then you're more than welcome to do that. But I will be reading it as a general reading. So you fit it into your life if it fits any way you see fit. All right, all that information is below, how energy is interchangeable, it may or may not resonate, and all that is below, so I don't have to have a long intro on every video. So that's why I ask that you please read the description box below. Okay, so this is a zodiac oracle. So we may get a planet, element, or a sign, and we'll see how that affects you the first half of September. And if you find that whatever comes out here does not resonate for you, that is totally fine sort of like a little bonus here so what may some cancerians have around them energy around them the first half of september spirit please can we have one card for cancer one card for and i think this one okay let's see what we have and we have fire energy so leo sag or aries around you in some way shape or form and if not the energy of fire is just a very um, ambitious, go-getting type of energy. Uh, it's all about passion, and I just don't mean like sexual passion, like just having a lot of energetic passion uh, as you put your energy into something and being very excited about it, um, being driven, being a go-getter, um, just having that burning fire within you to achieve what you set out to accomplish and usually being very successful and fires 23 which is five which is about can be about change you cancer of four which is about the basis and stability and then we have 23 five which is change so maybe a change in your foundation somehow if not that's totally fine but we'll see we'll see what's going on with you cancer maybe you have fire in your chart two also all right so let's see what's going on all the cards have been pre-shuffled caught meditated on off camera there is a little more shuffling on camera so please be patient with the shuffling let's get one message for cancer what is their energy like the first half of september what do they need to know What's going on with Cancer Spirit, please? Can we have one card for the first half of September? Spirit, please, for Cancer. Thank you so much. There we go. Okay. So we have... Let me get the glare there. Okay. Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of Spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. So if you are trying to control something or you're trying to um, 
trying to control the outcome of something or you cannot let go of something is constantly on your mind it's constantly consuming you and that's why we have this fiery passionate energy here so whatever you're going after whatever change uh, something with your foundation or your basis in some way shape or form could be a change of a career you're waiting for uh, a response for you know a new job or it could be anything but you're too I think you're too consumed by the outcome you're too consumed and worried about what's going to happen um, you need to just let go of it a little bit and just let divine and source do its magic and they have your back so don't worry about it and if it's meant for you it will come for you and I see that you're very fired up about this it's like you want it and you're doing everything in your power to get it like you want this change but you're being I think just a little bit too controlling over the situation just a little bit so just let it go a little bit and uh, see what happens so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck stay connected we are all born with we all we are all born connected to spirit often known as the divine source wow and i just said that yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world now is an important time to reconnect to the source so again staying connected and letting go and giving it up to the divine source to the higher powers that be here is just telling you to trust in that connection trust in what is meant for you will come for you so and then we have one to hear hello from heaven your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them they know you've been thinking of them and they and they are sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time so if any of you've had passed over loved ones uh and you're wondering about um any signs you're seeing if it's any of these things or it's something else here know that it is uh, signs from those loved ones in heaven. So that could be a special message for some of you. Just a little bonus message there. All right, so let's put these over here. All right, so let's get into this with the tarot. Oops. I just dropped a card. Oy, 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 oy. All right trying to pick it up with my feet sorry about that <laughs> all right uh, not starting over so <laughs> you have to bear with the bloopers all right so cancer 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 this deck is big but I love it it's so cute it's sort of like a tarot slash oracle all right so what's going on with cancer a little hard to shuffle but that's all right cancer what's going on with cancer first half of september what is this that they're going after what is this change what do they need to kind of give up control over just a little bit I'll have to shuffle this way okay can we clarify cancer's energy for the first half of September. Oh, there we go. Well, we got two. I'll take it. All right, so we have the Queen of Spring and the Eight of Summer. So we have the Eight of Cups and we have the Queen of Wands. So this is the fire energy here coming into play. Um, and I know you're a water sign, but this could just be your energy or somebody around you uh, here. But the queen of spring, talented, brilliant, independent, charming, Persian cat. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention all at once, but you can do it. And then we have the eight of cups here, uh, kangaroo. You feel that there's more to life than what you're living, so it's time to move on. Exactly, and I had said, felt that with the 23.5 is about change. So... You're ready to move on from something. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you, or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. So I definitely feel here, this is your energy, um, being very fiery, passionate, excited, like uh, like really wanting this change. 
in whatever situation you are in now, it's like you're ready just to leave it, walk away from it, and you want to go to something better that's better for you. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a career change, whether it's even moving from one town to another town, one house from another house, or from one apartment to another apartment here. Um, some sort of change here. Something you're leaving behind that is no longer serving you and going to something else more suited for you. And just trust in the divine power that what is meant for you will happen for you. And just let go a little bit of the outcome, trying to control it. All right. So what else do we have for Cancer? Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Wow. Okay. Okay, I want one more. One more, please. For Cancer, one more. For Cancer, one more. For Cancer. Right. See what we have. What else is around here? Energy. The Two of Summer, Love Bird. He has water energy. So the, over here is water energy. The Eight of Summer. That's your en energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I think you're embodying. The wand fire energy and the water energy is also your energy as in the two of summer here. Love bird, you are feel, falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. So, so the, it, you know, it, this can be about a relationship. Maybe you're leaving a relationship and going into a new relationship or maybe there's been time apart. And now you're coming back together or the two of summer you know is about unity uh it coming into union but it also can be with yourself like knowing yourself value your value your well your worth if i could speak and having you know that renewed self-love for yourself and doing what is best for you like being totally in aligned with yourself in your being it could be spiritually it just could be new self-love for yourself and then you have the magician, unicorn. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. And this is a new beginning. And this is Gemini in Virgo. So it doesn't have to be, but those are the signs associated with the magician. So this is manifesting a new beginning. And the two is usually about choice also. So um, making decisions. So I think you're really deciding here to follow your true inner calling, your worth, your value, your self-love, doing what's best for you, leaving a situation, being totally fired up about it, and manifesting a new beginning and going in a to totally dif uh, different direction here. The ones are all about a beginning, and that's a major arcana, so that is a major message about a new beginning here for you that you can make happen with the swords for truth and clarity, the wands for passion and fire, the pentacles for stability and structure, and uh, what's the other one now? Cups for love and emotions, compassion. So yep, yeah, definitely manifesting some sort of new beginning here. So let's see what your actual situation is now. So we have the queen of summer and there you are. The eight of pentacles. And the five of wands, five of springs. So the queen of summer is your energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of pentacles is earth energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And now we have the wand energy with the fire energy here of Leo, Sagiri. So queen of summer, that's you. Compassionate, loving, giving, psychic. It's swan. It's it's a time of deep emotions and heightened intuition that you can trust completely. Be mindful you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. So I definitely feel like here being like really feeling like you're in your power now and doing what's best for you and making that conscious choice to um, follow your gut and your intuition and what you need to do for you. And then you have the Eight of Pentacles right in the middle of your spread. And I just had said about Pentacles as your stability structure. Parrot. Um, it's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar or conducting research, do your best work. 
and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. And I had said that here with the law of attraction is just to let go a little bit, let divine source power, the higher beings here, work their magic in giving you what is meant for you and using the law of attraction. So this is putting in the dedicated effort, the hard work. This is right in the middle of your spread, mastering your craft and doing the hard work necessary and whatever new beginning you're accomplishing here. Maybe you are going back to school to advance your career. Maybe this is just a new career opportunity that you're waiting on, a move. I mean, it could be anything here that you're manifesting going forward and really being in your uh, power here with the Queen of Summer, Queen of Cups. And now we have the Five of Spring, Five of Wands, Ram. Occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So this is conflict, competition. Um, you no, know, you're putting in the hard work here. You're standing in your power, but maybe there's conflict and competition. Uh, that you may have to face as you're moving forward with those around you either could be vying for the same position that you're going for um, or just conflict with family friends as you're moving forward in a new direction maybe some don't approve and there's a little bit of conflict there um, here but this is saying that you can overcome it just to concentrate on you and put in the hard work into your new beginning in whichever direction you're going even though there may be conflict and that's bound to happen so um something you may have to deal with so let's see get the candle down a little bit all right let's see what your advice is now moving forward so we have the seven of winter and we have the six of winter wow <laughs> all air energy here so we have the seven of winter. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be, but this is air energy, seven of winter, magpie. Caution will help you avoid the loss of valuables, including non-material resources, such as time or peace of mind. Be aware of the results of your actions, as well as what others might be doing behind your back. Okay, so I think, and then the six of winter, rescue cat, mixed breed, the challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief, let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. So your advice is here is, you know, watch people around you that they're not being deceiving to you or doing anything they shouldn't be doing. And also to watch your actions that you don't get into a mindset of just doing whatever here and not caring about others. So watch that energy. But you know, if you watch that energy as you're moving forward, the six of winter is about leaving the past behind and going into a new peaceful, calmer place, leaving the rocky waters behind and sailing into calmer waters. So as you're sailing into calmer waters and a better place, just be aware of your actions and stay in that uh, calmful, peaceful place. And also just be wary of people around you. Keep an eye out for people around you that they're not deceiving you in some way shape or form that everything is on the up and up as you're moving forward all right so let's see what your possible outcome is now in this situation so we have the five of autumn manatee focusing upon the negative or worrying about money or your career can block your progress because your trust and faith are at a low point right now it's not the best time to start your own business or become self-employed all right, so this is the Five of Pentacles, and that speaks of, you know, being left out in the cold, being neglected, abandoned kind of energy. Um, so, and that is your <laughs> outcome. So there may be, um, I'm not feeling it's you. There may be people that you just may have to leave behind. Either they're just too negative for you or they don't approve of what you're doing or they're not being supportive of you, you may have to cut some ties here and leave some people out in the cold, abandon them, whether it's friends, coworkers that don't uh, agree with what you're doing here. So you may have to cut ties with some people and just leave them behind, unfortunately, with this energy. 
All right, so let's get more clarification here. Four of Spring Otter, it's time to kick back, relax, and celebrate all that you have. Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. So Four of Wands uh, here with fire energy. So having a very happy, a secure, stable, grounded home life. So this is about commitment and marriage. So you could be married, um, but everything I feel like in your home envir environment will be stable and grounded, secure, happy. There may be some celebrating about your whatever happens in the future here. Uh, moving forward, it's about celebration, ceremonies, and being very happy and content in your home life, in your basis, in your foundation. And I had that with four here. So I think things will um, be better for you. Four of summer, four of cups. Your responsibilities may distract you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. So the four of cups energy, that's your energy, is being a little closed off to things coming in, not really offering anything out. So just be kind of aware of that, that you're not being uh, closed off to others around you um, in some way and be open to other things around you. You may have opportunities that may come up, but you may choose to ignore them. So just be mindful that there may be something that else that may come around to you that may be good for you and to keep your options open. And we have two fours there, which is definitely about your stability, your basis and foundation. Queen of Winter, Leopard. All your life experiences have prepared you for this moment of truth. It's time to declutter your home, clear away situations that aren't working for you anymore, and disengage from people who create more drama than happiness. And I had felt that here with the Five of Autumn. Now, the Queen of Winter is Air Energy, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have, we have three queens here. So, I mean, you could just be embodying all these queens, or these could be people around you, could be friends, family, co-workers. But we have a fire sign, an air sign, and water sign definitely is you. So I, I feel like you're just embodying all these queens at this time in your life. But the Queen of Winter here, Queen of Swords, is someone who, you know, stands up for themselves, cuts away bullshit no longer serving, serving them, has clear, open, uh, truth, clarity, communication. And again, with, you know, the Queen of Swords here, cutting away people, places, things no longer serving them, as I had felt with the Five of Pentacles, as leaving things behind out in the cold, and abandoning those things that are no longer serving you. All right, let's see what else now. So we have three of winter, rose-breasted grosbeak. Sadness is a part of life, but you don't have to endure it alone. You may need a little more time to heal, but once you work, once you work your way through the emotions, you'll be stronger than before. All right, so this is the three of swords. This is about heartbreak, pain. So, you know, you may feel very heartbroken and pained by maybe people that you may have to choose to leave behind because maybe they just aren't serving you anymore. Maybe they're not supporting you anymore or whatever. It could have been conflict or fights with loved ones, family, friends, and now just deciding, you know what, I think it's best now we go our separate ways. And this is, you know, the heartbreak, sadness and sorrow and the deep hurt in your heart about having to cut away these people, places, or things no longer serving you. Maybe a little deceptive behind your back that you found out. And now, you know, taking that sword, cutting it away. So now we have the lovers, which is Gemini, Flamingo. True and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices. So, again, this is what's doing what's best for you. This is aligning with your higher purpose, your true self, your self-worth and love. And making choices here totally aligned with what you feel is best for you moving forward. So we have the Hermit energy here, which is Virgo energy, Firefly. Take time for our contemplation to retreat and go within. Be a beacon for others on their path to spiritual enlightenment. So, you know, this is thinking, contemplating, uh, spending time alone, deciding what you need to do here, moving forward. 
maybe, you know, it just needs to let go a little bit and just uh, spend more time focused on you, doing things for you with the hermit energy. All right. So now we have balance, zebra. By merging varying points of review, you can generate an extraordinary new idea, compromise with others, and collaborate to discover a better solution. And this is Sagittarius energy. It's a lot of major arcana now coming out. So again, balancing, tempering your energy. This is healing, patience and time um, kind of energy and compromising with others, if that makes sense in this situation. So definitely balancing out the energies here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck now. So we have the three of summer, the three of cups, hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. And I had felt over here with the four of springs about ceremony celebrations. And now we have the three of cups, the three of summer, which is your energy, is about rejoicing, celebrating, reuniting, coming together, having good times, being happy and joyous. So, you know, there may be good times to come in whatever situation you're moving forward in. Once this cycle is completed and you have this new phase in your life, I think you'll be having a lot of joyous times with friends and family. The moon links. It's important to trust your intuition, even if you're unsure of what's happening. All will be revealed soon, so worry is unnecessary. Exactly. This is your energy, Cancer or Pisces, with the moon. So again, um, not knowing how things are going to turn out, not knowing, you know, which way it's going to go, but that is fine. Just let go and give it to the universe because this worry you have or control you have is unnecessary over this uh, situation. And there's your energy, the chariot, cancer, Arabian horse. You can, sus can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So this is moving forward fearlessly with balance, determination, um, being victorious and successful in whatever direction you're going in. And just know that even though you don't know the outcome, the universe says here that things will go in your favor and you will be successful. Unity. So this is the Hierophant polar bear embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor find a new teacher or spend spend time with others who are also on a sacred path so this is about faith spirituality uh with uh unity here so this is just trusting in having faith in the universe that uh what is meant for you will come to you it's divinely guided for you with the Hierophant energy. And here's the dreamer, the fool, shepherd puppy. You are starting a new adventure. Exactly. Run free and take the leap of faith. So this is resetting, restarting over at zero, leaving all the crap behind as with the six of winter. And this six of winter is leaving behind this crap of the deception of the seven of winter. And also leaving things behind, no longer serving with the five of autumn and leaving and abandoning that energy and resetting and leaving that all behind, resetting at zero, starting over, having a new leap of faith, jumping right in, trusting everything will be fine. So the dreamer is Aquarius. This is Taurus. This is your energy and that's your energy. And there's your truth and clarity and this is the truth of the matter here's the ace of swords ace of winter when that shows up that's divine source saying this is what is going on this is the truth this is truth and clarity panda implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start as we have the five of swords uh, five of um, wands energy here with conflict but keep going the challenges will help you to refine your palm your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So this is a brand new beginning, having truth and clarity, um, open and honest, clear cut communication, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself. It's a sword of victory and truth. Yep. So it's all here for you, a fresh new start, leaping right in. It's divinely guided to have faith and trust in the universe. You're moving forward in the right direction, even though you may not know the outcome, just have trust and faith that everything will be fine wow cancer 
And this could be anything. I mean, you could be, uh, I don't know, waiting on a new job offer. You could be moving and waiting on a closure of a house. Um, you, I don't know. You could be waiting to see what's going to happen in a relationship. You know, if you will stay connected in that relationship or move on. I don't know here, but it could be anything. It could be anything. But uh, for some of you, I think you'll be moving into a new home of some kind. And some of you, it's uh, a new career or a new job. And some of you, it's a relationship. So, I mean, it could can be anything here, but whatever it is, is a positive outcome and you're going in the right direction. And the new beginning is here for you. All right, so let's get some extra guidance for you, Cancer. Let's get some extra guidance. There we go. I think this one. So we have 81, leadership. And that is nine, which nine is about um, coming to the completion of a cycle, which we had here with five with change. And magician here is a new start, new beginning, and taking that new start and leaping right in with the um, fool energy and leaping in with the chariot energy and knowing that um, the universe has your back as you're jumping in. So maybe you're taking on a new leadership role, some sort of career here. Maybe you're going to be a boss now or something like that but something where you will lead uh, people or just taking control and taking the lead in your life and doing what's best for you. Change, wow. Had I not said change at the beginning here, change. Yeah, you're going through a big, big change right now. Wow, wow. All right, anything, let's see if there's anything else for cancer. Cancer, first half of September. Is there anything else for Cancer first? Wow. Happy ending. Exactly. And I had said that right along. A happy ending. Nine and three, which is 12, and together is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, um, working together, compromising. Yep. Happy ending. So let's see what's, let's put this over here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Music, five, again, about change. So <clears throat> maybe some of you are being involved in uh, music in some way, I don't know. Um, or some of you just love music and if it's something you haven't been doing, if you haven't been listening to your music or you haven't been going to concerts or something that you truly love with music, whether it's dancing, writing, uh, composing, playing, whatever it is with music and the change here could be just getting back into that because that's really what fulfills you. And intuition, I had said too about listening to your intuition and doing what's best for you and follow your dreams. Wow. Follow your dreams. Yep. Follow your dreams. Listen to your intuition and whatever here with music. Um, I feel like you need to get back into music if that makes sense for you. Okay, Cancer. Um, I hope this resonated for you. If it didn't, you could check the uh, description box below for previous playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. And I would say disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless so if you see something that catches your eye i'd say click on it and watch it anyway um, if this did resonate for you and you like my style you like how i read please do like share comment subscribe i love to read the comments and you know all these messages and videos will circulate more if they are liked and shared commented on so that would be very much appreciated if you do subscribe hit the little bell you'll be notified when i post new readings i do bi-weekly general and love so please do not miss out on that Thank you so much and uh, best of luck to you here in your situation. Keep going in the right direction, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.